Hello everyone, uh, Gabilon here with a global exclusive Lufenia Plus, Cloudy with a chance of Squall, uh, I like so many aspects of this fight, uh, there's range Gron, Orin, and Bosh, I'm probably gonna swap out Orin this time, cause I don't think I need him, and with the friend Garnet anyway. Yeah, there's so many things I like about this fight, the fact that they remembered that Brave Reductions exist, uh... There's just a lot going on in this fight. There's a decent amount going on in this fight, and I'm actually kind of here for it, honestly. Yep, that's, uh, part of what's going on here. In fact, I might have messed up a time. Nah, actually, it's it's salvageable. Like, not capital, capital M messed up, but... I think they're going to instantly warp and uh, cleanse themselves, which... Oh, shoot, I thought that was Bosch. <laughs> Got a little bit scared when I saw him rush forward. But, um, yeah. A lot going on in this fight. The bosses attack, make a lot of HP attacks that can actually kill you if you're, you know, not bringing the right team. And they also warp a lot after seven turns, which is very annoying that you can't keep track of, but, you know, it's whatever. I just kind of deal with it. I mean, sure, I could keep track, but I think each one has its own separate counter, which is kind of obnoxious. That That is definitely criticism of this fight, that you can't keep track of it on your own, but, uh... Other than that, I like the lethality of the fight, I like the orb, uh... Oh god, A is gonna warp, I can feel it in my bones. I like the orb condition, which is deceptively difficult, in my opinion. And it actually kind of works against the fight, which is kind of interesting. I don't know, it's not like, fulfilling the orb condition isn't necessarily just like a free... Like, even though it's a delay orb, it isn't just like an automatic, you don't have to deal with the bosses. Because you're dealing with these bosses in some way or form, but... You know, they also just want to be delayed. It's, I don't know, kind of a nice tug of war. Yeah, I gotta think about swapping out Orin. I mainly brought him because I wanted off-turn damage, but uh... And I brought Bosch because I want to keep the team safe. One criticism I still have with Orin, I feel like he doesn't keep the team as safe as other tanks. Like, if I want safety in the team, I'm not gonna go to Orin, I hate to say it. I mean, he has a great debuff. I also kind of wish he had auras, more auras than defense, which, not really too impressive. I've used Kamari a lot, defense ain't that impressive. Yeah, I haven't really talked about Jagron here, he's just kind of doing his thing, he's, um... You know, just dealing damage, not really caring about defense, which will be very important coming up soon. And I think... Yeah, I think it's time for Orin to split. I gotta think about this character. So one. Two. That's three. Uh, hell of a turn four right here. Also, shout out this to this dude for, uh, Getting the premium mug pass and let me use that 5 out of 5 Ultima weapon. I kind of feel like a leech because I have an Ultima weaponless Garnet, but on the other hand... Um... I mean, Garnet's a Garnet. I mean... Oh god, Garnet is indeed a Garnet. Okay, uh, Bosch is keeping the team safe. Unholy moly, that's just a lot of damage. Uh, let me think. When do I burst? Uh, I'm gonna do on Tron's next turn. 
I just want these dudes to get a turn so I don't have to worry about their warping. Thank you, Bosh. I like the weather effect in this fight. It really does make it a lot different than just a empty field sea or whatever. And yeah, the bar is that low for me. I'm impressed with, with weather effects and lightning every couple seconds. I'm impressed with little, little tiny dots. I'm a simple man. But I'm just saying, like, if we have so many different environments, why are we always in, like, field A or B or C or whatever instead of just, like, I don't know. I don't care if we, we're in on the moon or whatever. I don't need a justification for as to why a fight's on the moon. Just let us have a random fight in the moon instead of a void or a field. I, I'm, I'm getting whatever. Or, like, Xanarkand. I would love to fight in Xanarkand more. Okay, gotta think for a second, because his requires actual thought. Well, not that other people's don'ts, but we gotta keep track of the crystallization specs. Now, let's see here. Yep, that'll bring that one up to three stacks, B will be at one. Ooh, that didn't cap. That's actually kind of what I was getting at. The reductions or defense or whatever on these dudes is actually very high. I mean, this Garnet has like a maxed ultimate weapon, which is kind of insane that that didn't cap. Let me just slap this dude with the set crystallization, so I've got another piece of this. Oh, Garnet might not actually stick around the whole time. I just realized that. Well, then again, I could just probably, like, use your EX for one or out of here for Orin to get in the thumbnail. Ah, whatever. I'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. Whoa, okay, that's way more damage than the first time I did this. It was, like, 4 million. Please don't warp, please don't warp, no, don't, don't, yes, okay, good. Yeah, I just kind of want to see something, just kind of for funsies. Oh, damn, I got two of those punishes. Yeah, it looks like Orin's coming back, that's fine. Alright, but while Garnet is here... Let's see what this will do. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh. Well, that was disgusting. Yikes. Oh, my God. That hurt me to watch. Wow, okay, looks like Garnet's actually not gonna just smoke the fight in the... At least friend unit Garnet isn't just gonna smoke the fight by existing. That's insane, I'm not used to that. I do want Orin in the thumbnail, yeah. 
Thank you, Malasada. So long, farewell, see you later. Oh! Okay. Whatever. This will be a cooler finish anyway. Alright, but yeah, pretty happy with that fight. Uh, looking forward to whatever they got throw they're gonna throw at us next, dear ward. I'm tired. I'm sleepy. Cool. Oh, I forgot great great sword, yeah. That was Bosch and uh, not Bosch. Oh, what's his name? Oren and Jagron. I've never talked about Jagron. He's good here, whatever. I don't remember what's next. Leviathan? Yeah, that sounds right. I'll see you for Leviathan. Goodbye for now.